welcome and or welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making this super creamy alfredo pasta if you're new here please definitely consider liking and subscribing if you like my content and without further ado let's get started starting with the pasta i've gone ahead and already brought a pot of water to a boil so now before adding in my pasta i'm going to season it with some salt you can definitely season this to your taste if you like more or less salt then i'm going to add in my pasta i'm using about a box and a half which is about a pound and a half of pasta and then i'm going to stir it and leave it to cook and once my pasta is boiling, I'm just going to put my wooden spoon on top of my pot. This just keeps the water from boiling over. Now we're going to move on to seasoning our meat. I'm using chicken breast that I've cut up into bite-sized pieces. And I'm going to season this with some black pepper, some salt, and paprika. Then I'm going to mix this all together to make sure that all the chicken is coated. And we're going to set it aside for frying. Now in a hot pan over medium high heat, I'm going to add in my oil, which I'm going to fry my meat in. I'm using coconut oil here, but you can use any oil of your choice. And once my oil is nice and hot, I'm going to go ahead and add in my chicken. And once that's all in, I'm just going to make sure that every piece is touching the pan so that we can get some nice color on one side. Then we're going to leave this to cook on this side for about 2 to 5 minutes or until it's developed a nice golden brown color. Roughly 5 minutes later, I am now going to go ahead and flip my chicken over so that it can cook on the other side as well. Now we're going to check in on our pasta. At about 12 to 15 minutes, my pasta here was cooked, so I'm going to strain it out. But before I did strain it out, I did reserve some of the pasta water that I'm going to add into the sauce afterwards. Now back to my chicken, as you can see, it has released quite a bit of water. So what I'm gonna do is just let this cook a little more until all the water has dried out. Now that the water has dried out, what I'm going to do is just remove the chicken from the pan and I'm going to set it aside to let it cool. Once all the chicken is out of the pan, I'm going to add in about one teaspoon of oil I'm using coconut oil here, but you can use any oil of your choice. Then what I'm going to do is add in my chopped onions and garlic, and I'm going to give this a stir, and then leave this to cook until the onions are translucent. going to add in my alfredo sauce i'm using just the classic alfredo sauce that i got from my local walmart and i'm going to add in all of this then i just added a little bit of water into the container to shake it up and get the remaining sauce out of there to make sure i'm not wasting anything and now once all of that is in i'm going to stir it up and then i'm going to add in my pasta water from before and then stir it once again and then now we are going to season now season to your taste but here i am adding in some black pepper some bouillon cubes or bouillon seasoning powder and some salt and then i'm going to stir this up once more just to make sure that everything is nicely combined afterwards i'm going to add in my chicken from before and then i'm going to give this a good stir And 
now finally we're going to add in our pasta i'm going to add this in in increments just to make sure that i'm coating and covering everything in the sauce nicely but once all my pasta is in i'm going to give it a good stir and then i'm going to add on a little bit of basil i added on about one teaspoon of basil and then afterwards i'm going to stir this up and that's it this pasta was super creamy and super delicious and it's easy to put together and it doesn't take a long time at all. So if you're looking for your next dinner idea, definitely go ahead and give this a try and then come back and let me know how it went. And if you did like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.